congratulations on the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1, Mr. Maharshala. This is your year, right? House of Cards and a great uh, franchise that truly, truly delivers. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited about being a part of it. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just an amazing piece. I, I saw it Monday night and, uh, at, the, at the premiere, and uh, I think the fans are going to be really happy with it. What got you interested in not only joining the franchise, but your character of Boggs? Well, in, in terms of joining the franchise, I, which, what's great as an actor is you want to be, you kind of live in the time of the blockbuster. And so a lot of things are just big just to be big, which personally doesn't interest me. But what, what I was attracted to about Hunger Games was it, it's a big blockbuster project, but the storyline is really strong and worked out, and, and, and the books are terrific. Um, as far as Boggs, the character, he really spoke to me because here it is, this, this man who was born and raised underground and is alive during the time of, of, of the revolt, this, this pending feeling of freedom and, and this hope that happens. And, and I was attracted to that, and, and, and he's tasked with protecting Katniss. And me as an actor, I like the... I felt like I could bring something, something to that, um, uh, and there's a nice little arc in there with it, with with him not necessarily want to wanting that assignment at first, but growing to to quickly respect and appreciate having been tasked or commissioned with with doing that. That's right. You are a protector, a soldier. You know, how did you find the heart of your character? Hmm. Uh, you know, I that's a that's a great question and. I, I think that just came from working with Jennifer, um, just really trying to listen as an actor and, and, and responding to her and playing off of her story. And then I think a, a, in another small slice of that in, in terms of like finding his heart is, is wanting freedom and wanting justice. And I think we all can connect to that. I think that's around the world people can connect to that desire and um, and so being aware that that she that he was living and it living in a time of oppression and tyranny and then also having an empathy for what Katniss was going through specifically I think those two things helped clue me into to, to something about the spirit of Box. The great answer, that's right. You know, uh, let me just tell you, I mean, you probably can tell <laughs> that I am such a big mm. fan of not only the books, but the movies. I love, love, love the Hunger Games. Mm. And part of the appeal for me with the movies is um, Jennifer Lawrence herself. She finds pathos mm. in her character of Katniss. How was it working with yes. her? Jennifer was great to work with. I got to say, it was just one of the... Um, one of the be the better, if not best, experiences of my of my of my life and, and career as an actor. But I, you know, I just think that she is uh, she's just very real as a person. She she surrounds herself with real people who who she says herself who who tell her no. Who she's not around yes men, yes people, and and she's grounded. So in terms of like working with someone like that, she's just a team player and. Um, she wants what's best for the scene. Um, she's very serious between action and cut. But as soon as Francis would call cut, it's playing and laughing and, and having a good time and keeping it light. Uh, but the character itself is is really going through a lot, and and it's heavy and it's and it's, you know, to say the least, it's dark. But um, but she keeps it up and she's buoyant and she's fun to be around and a real light. She deserves all the success that she's having. She's just a beautiful person. That's right. You, you hit in the head with, with the word dark. What I like best about this movie mm. is, um, you know, it's totally engrossing and entertaining, but it also has dark political undertones, and I love that about the film. Mm. Yes, me too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it, um, I think it, it, tyranny has always existed, uh, and unfortunately it's, it's going to continue to exist. So I think... Um, so that, the, the film carries with it, and, and, and that definitely feels current. But what I also feel like the film really captures, which is amazing to me, is Suzanne Collins was able to, within the books, and, and then Francis is able to, to highlight that through the film, is, 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 is capture this, this sense of, this, this 
this voyeuristic society that we live in and the reality TV and, and, the, and the propaganda involved in it all. And, sh and it all kind of converges within these films. So in that way, I think it all feels very current and of the time. And I think we'll be able to put these films in a time capsule and look at them 50 years from now and, and, and kind of see how it was a, a kind of a perfect painting of some of the things that were going on um, in, in the world at that time uh, or right now, currently. That's right. Congratulations again, Mr. Mahershala. I, I, you know, this Thank film you. left me hanging, but also left me wanting for more. So I cannot wait for the next one. And um, if you can, if if you can see me now, I'm wearing my Mockingjay pin. I'm such a big fan again. <laughs> and I'm gonna say goodbye, goodbye to you, by doing the three G goodbye, finger Manny. salute. Goodbye, It was great meeting you. <laughs> Do the fingers, three great finger salute you. with Thank me, so Mr. Mahershala. <laughs> Oh, do the salute? The yes, salute? there you go. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, brother. Thank you yeah. so much. Congrats again. Good right. luck. Visit Thank us in you. Palm Springs. Thank this you. is not District 8. <laughs> Goodbye. Say, say that again. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that. come visit us in Palm Springs. This is not District 8. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good, good to see you, man. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much.